chicos, bienvenidos al directo Donde vamos a estar reaccionando a la teoría final de MatPat de The Game Theorist Así es chicos, después de cuántos años, de como 15 años desde que creó el canal Y como 13 años de su primera teoría Dentro de 9 minutos se estrenará la teoría final de MatPat La cara principal y creador de The Game Theorist Pese a que sea su última teoría, ya sabéis que el canal va a seguir eh... Dios mío, eh... voy a llorar, seguramente me vais a llorar con esta teoría eh... estoy, estoy, un poco, estoy un poco bastante triste de que se vaya eh, También ha, ha estado haciendo un ARG que parece que va a culminar aquí Os voy a contar por encima el ARG, ¿vale? En, en, es, ya sabéis que MatPat tiene cuatro canales Bueno, en realidad tiene cinco, que es uno de directos Pero ese no cuenta para el ARG Tiene The Film Theorist, Food Theorist eh, El de los directos, The Style Theorist Y luego tenemos The Game Theorist Pues en algunos vídeos han estado apareciendo unos códigos el, Uno de los códigos Aparece en este vídeo de MatPat, donde podemos ver en color Verde 2011 Más adelante ese spray desaparece Así que está editado, luego en el último Vídeo que ha subido, que es la teoría de FNAF Hay un mensaje mensaje muy importante en el cual es como que nos cuentan el final está a punto de llegar las piezas están colocadas las piezas son esos códigos la, lo perdiste la semana pasada y dejan aquí el enlace a un vídeo haciendo referencia a que esos códigos son importantes los códigos de color eh, busca el verde, busca los códigos verdes Así que ahora sabemos, bueno, aquí recuerda todo lo que te he enseñado Todo lo de relacionar pistas y códigos Así que sabemos gracias a esto que los códigos y pistas que están apareciendo en sus vídeos Son importantes para alguna especie de puzzle Y aquí bueno, recuerda la mordida del 87 y luego cambia guión FNAF 87 Así que es como otro código, 2011 y FNAF 87 Luego si nos vamos a su canal de, de Film Theorist Tenemos en... en en orden de salida por vídeos, otro código rojo, el primero FAF en minúscula, que es como Fast and Furious luego el siguiente código rojo que se encontró es en el vídeo de, de Gravity Falls, aquí Pines 12, que se cree que eh, lo del 12 es como 2012 que es la, crea, eh, la fecha de creación de, de, de Gravity Falls, 2012 y luego el último que tuvimos fue ayer que fue Aor 96 en mayúscula, luego en otro vídeo en ese mismo vídeo de hecho más adelante se puede ver Tiny URL Com, que es un acortador de, de URLs Si tú coges el Tiny URL y juntas todos los códigos De color rojo que han aparecido En el orden que han aparecido y abres el enlace Te redirige a un vídeo en privado En el canal de Youtube, si haces lo mismo Con los dos códigos verdes no te lleva a ningún Código, de hecho si lo abro Me lleva a una página más 18 Creo que eso ponja la rule 34 En fin los trolls de internet, el caso es que falta un código Que seguramente se revelará en la teoría final Que nos lleve a otro vídeo en privado Si te vas a su canal de comida Tenemos en este vídeo Este otro código, Jul 20 d Como 20 de julio D Luego tenemos en este otro vídeo en orden de salida Este otro enlace eh, Este otro código que es CH17 guac Luego tenemos este otro vídeo que es HB eh, eh, HBD 37 bueno, ahí me lo he saltado ahí, Voy a tirar para atrás, fotograma, fotograma Aquí tenemos el código HBD37Q Que es como Happy Birthday 37Q Que es la edad de MatPat, si no estoy equivocado Y luego también, de nuevo, en otro vídeo de comida Apareció el de tinyurl.com De nuevo, si juntas estas tres palabras en el tinyurl Estos tres códigos te llevan a otro vídeo que está en privado Y luego, finalmente, en su canal de ropa Tenemos otro código que de repente tenemos en la marca Pons de color negro Y se glitchea color azul, así que es un código Pons Luego tenemos este otro vídeo del canal canal de ropa, en él aparece guión SEP2, si juntas Pons y SEP2 en Tiny URL, que en el mismo vídeo aparece la pista del Tiny URL, te lleva a otro enlace, a otro vídeo en privado en YouTube así que tenemos tres enlaces en privados en vídeo en YouTube y un enlace a medio terminar, si nos vamos a la teoría final de MatPat y leemos la descripción, podemos ver que el vídeo va a durar unos eh, 30, unos 23 con 42 minutos, y aquí abajo hay spoilers de la RG que está creando la primera pista de la RG pone que 
es este minuto The First Ending, el primer final Lo cual, gracias hemos a la tabla de spoilers Que va a haber seis finales De The Game Theorist El primer final es el que tendrá este vídeo Luego el segundo es el de Faf Pines 12, ahora 96 Que es este Que estáis viendo aquí, que es el de color rojo Luego tenemos otro aquí, que es El de eh, 2011, FNAF 87 Y Vice 24 Que es el de aquí, así que en este vídeo se confirmará que el último código del primer URL es by 24 Así que vamos a completarlo, barra by 24 Ahora todo esto lo transformamos en un enlace, abrimos el enlace Y esto nos redirige a otro vídeo en privado en YouTube Que seguramente estará en vivo cuando este vídeo esté finalizado Así que ya tenemos el enlace del último, eh, el último enlace en privado que nos faltaba por resolver Luego tenemos eh, como cuarto final El de Jude 20 Che Wack y lo del feliz cumpleaños Que es lo del canal de comida Luego tendremos el quinto final Que es el Pons Sep 2 que es este de aquí, el canal de vestimenta Y seguramente con estos cuatro vídeos en privados juntos Se podrá resolver el último puzzle de la RG Que es el 6 de 6 Porque como veis tiene cuatro partes Rag, True, NBR24 y Matpad gt 3 Cuando juntes todos estos cuatro códigos secretos Que estarán en cada uno de los cuatro vídeos secretos Te llevará al final definitivo de este puzzle de Matpad Me voy a apuntar aquí el ARG pero vamos a encontrar las piezas en cada uno de los vídeos. Y lo que vamos a hacer ahora es reaccionar al vídeo final, encontrar dónde está lo de lo de By24 y después de eso miraremos los cuatro vídeos en privados, los reaccionaremos y miraremos dónde están escondidos los cuatro trozos para de esa manera encontrar el último enlace secreto y resolver el último ARG de MadPad mientras está en The Game Theorist. ¡Qué maldito hype! ¡Qué maldito hype! ¿Cómo no, quer cómo no queréis que llore? Te lo juro, llevo... Viendo este canal Años, pero años, 8 años Llevaré viéndolo, es un día muy especial El día de hoy, vamos a colocar Aquí el, el último URL Y lo tengo Esto también es De un documento que ha creado la comunidad De MatPat, que me ha ayudado a mí A encontrar algún código que me faltaba por resolver Pero bueno, aquí tengo lo mío Que para mí está más ordenadito, con colores Y tal, así que Vamos a colocar esto de color moradito Y... Se viene, vamos a aplicar el URL eh, Vamos a ir al enlace en privado Del último vídeo en secreto Que no lo veremos hasta que encontremos todas las pistas Que vosotros me tendréis que ayudar También a encontrar las pistas No os vais a escapar chicos Me tendréis que ayudar también a encontrar las pistas Obviamente Aquí tengo el último URL Vamos a colocar este también De color verdito así Vamos a colocar aquí el morado Vamos a colocarlo de este color Y ya está, estas son todas las pistas Se creía que era importante la pista de los colores de verde, azul, amarillo, rojo Pero al parecer eh, no sabemos si importa o no Porque en este vídeo de Five Nights at Freddy's Podemos ver como los colores en la intro de Five Nights at Freddy's Aparecen en un orden de color muy concreto Fijaos en los colores Aquí, vamos a tirar un poquito más para atrás un poquito, bastante más para atrás Podéis ver que empieza Verde, azul, amarillo y rojo pa, 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 pam. Se cree que ese es el orden En el que tendremos que juntar los vídeos Y parece ser, así que Probablemente estos, este orden de color Verde, azul, amarillo y rojo sea el orden De los últimos cuatro códigos Que aparecerán en los vídeos en privados, así que Tendremos eso en cuenta Para más adelante, así que Chicos, 60 segundos Para que comience la teoría final de Mad Pat de The Game Theorist El fin de una era en YouTube Uf, Estoy muy emocionado, tío Dios mío Voy a llorar con esta teoría final seguramente Si no hay ningún punto en el chat ni nada Es porque no quiero interrupciones Vamos a reaccionar esto del tirón Eh... También he quitado los anuncios No vais a tener en principio ningún tipo de anuncio, ¿vale? En este directo White Brangled Summary for all the old school fans Dice que la miniatura con el fondo Dice que la miniatura con... MadPat acaba de hablar en el chat Y dice, la miniatura con el fondo blanco es para los más veteranos Porque es cierto que sus primeras teorías Tenían como el fondo así de color blanco La segunda, la tercera, la cuarta En fin 
Y como digo, su primera teoría es de 2011 Del 14 de abril de 2011 Se viene, chicos Se viene Un minuto Un minuto, chicos Voy a dejar el chat por si MatPat dice algo, ¿vale? Vamos a ponerlo en modo teatro O, o lo dejo en full screen no sé Ostras, estoy nervioso, tío eh, Vamos a ponerlo en... Ah, mira, ahí está Está comenzando, dice voy, voy a dejar el chat, tío Voy a dejar el chat, me hace ilusión eh, ¿Tienes subtítulos en inglés? Vamos a traducirlos automáticamente al español No, no, no me deja Bueno, eh, a ver, estudio inglés se viene Let's go La teoría final de MatPat La intro antigua Y la evolución de la misma Hello internet. Hello internet. Welcome, Welcome to, to Game, Game Theory. Theory. Where that is the last time that I'll be saying those words officially on this channel. Loyal theorists, how do you say goodbye? 13 years ago, Se escucha bien chat? Do you want to know more about the games you love without having to put in any work of your own? Well, now you can play and learn. Okay, gracias. That's right, Weboverse. We have created Game Theory, gaming's tangential learning experience. Well, Weboverse, here we are today. 3,000 videos. <laughs> I was here. Tangential learning later. <laughs> How do you sum all that up? I already got super weepy in the last one of these things. So <laughs> I was here. Probably shouldn't do that again. It'd be redundant and probably not great for the tech equipment. We've also spent the last 10 weeks together knowing that this day was going to come, right? So I really feel like I've gotten my farewell tour. I've buried hatchets. I've rekindled friendships. Si encontréis el código de by 24 me avisáis. Fired some tanks. That was legitimately very cool. I honored my heritage. I made Disney mad at me one final time, which, you know, felt appropriate. Got some new dripping. Los últimos 40 videos han sido increíbles. Through all the things that were left in my content creator bucket list. So again, I ask, how do you say goodbye? First, it's probably most important to remind you that it's not officially goodbye, right? Not like I'm dying or anything. <laughs> it's more of a see you later. I'm still gonna be doing plenty of stuff. Like, I'm already booked to do the fashion show on style theory later this year. I'm still gonna be here on the couch for GT Live. In a Va couple of weeks, I'm speech over at PAX. I was recently in a kill count. Heck, I'm already slated to do the Jacksepticeye podcast, the Ludwig podcast. There's a collaboration I'm doing with Shape Frillis Productions. There's the FNAF musical over on Random Encounters. Like, I will be doing a lot, and you will probably be sick of me doing all these things on everyone else's channels but if you do want to stay in touch with me there are actually two ways that you could do it la página web de wordsmatpad.com like, oh, me on twitter but uh, we all know that there's like a grand total of zero people who want to be over on that platform so Por. instead i decided to make you this a mysterious wordsmatpad.com aquí es donde va anunciando lo que va a ir haciendo fuera de los canales que ya no va a estar hace de mensaje de la, para parte de la RG pero no lo es Yes, it's a rip off of scottgames.com. No, I don't feel bad about that because Y bueno, habrá el como ha dicho puzzles y cositas misteriosas, pero no es de este al reje final. Es diferente. Yeah, that's a good one. 
Once you're there, make sure you sign up via email. Don't worry, I'm not gonna be spamming you with updates or anything. It'll be more like a MatPat newsletter or maybe a Christmas card that you get every once in a while with a funny update or maybe we could chat about a favorite movie or something. I'll send over the occasional video that I'm just inspired to make. Who knows? Basically, this is just meant to be a way to let you all know what I'm up to directly in a way that isn't gonna be subject to filtering algorithms, you know? And to kick things off this week, I'll be selecting 100 random emails that sign up to get personalized letters. And from that point oh. forward, once or twice a week, I'll I'll continue pulling a handful of emails to send personal notes to. It'll be a fun way to stay in touch. Long story short, make sure you bookmark it since you never know what might happen over there. But, um, all right, enough stalling. Back to the question at hand, how do you say goodbye? Well, I think you honestly have to end it all where it began. This, this title, a game theory about game theory. Did you know that game theory isn't just a nerdy YouTube show? It's also a nerdy economics concept. If that's news to you, I honestly can't blame you. At this point, we've Lord, I to write this week. online that apparently we've merited our own disambiguation tag on Wikipedia for game Audios. theory searches. In all seriousness, for the first five years of this show, I received so many tweets from people who are mid-year in their economics courses, screenshotting their textbooks, freaking out when they got to the episode on game... It's not an episode, it's a chapter. When they got to the chapter on game theory, being like, Oh my gosh, dude, did you know that you were in this thing? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lol, qué guapo. The pun, believe it or not, was intentional. In fact, Steph and I knew from the very beginning that it was likely that the final episode of Game Theory was going to be about game theory. Why? Well, because game theory, it's everywhere. You, you can't escape it. If you've ever seen the movie Love Actually, there's actually this opening monologue in it that goes a little something like this. We live in a world of hatred and greed, but I don't see that. Seems to me that love is everywhere. If you look for it, you'll find that love actually is all around. Now you just gotta replace the word love with game theory, and you basically got it. We live in a world of hatred and greed, but I don't see that. Seems to me that game theory is everywhere. If you look for it, you'll find that game theory actually is all around. Huh, who would have suspected that English acting megastar and recent Oompa Loompa Hugh Grant would be making a guest appearance in my final episode? Truly. Truly, we have spared no expense for this one. And not only is game theory just everywhere, it also holds the secret to winning everything forever. Yeah, I know, right? That is a huge claim to make. Clearly, I was saving all my biggest secrets for the grand finale. So, you know what? Let's not beat around the bush anymore, <laughs> my friends. Let's make grand. you masters of the universe and reveal how, whether you like it or not, you all are theorists for life. Come on. Oh, this way. A ver. Yeah. We're moving off the couch this time. Whoa. That's how you know it's a big deal. Sí. Let's go. At its core, game theory is the science of Solo strategy. Solo está en en este no me deja ponerlo. understand strategy, but what exactly is game theory specifically? Well, to understand that, you have to go back to the original game theorist, not me, this guy. This guy right here. He might not have himself the red leather jackets or the cool diamond play buttons, but I'll tell you what he does have. A crater on the moon named after himself, so... I'll let you decide who has the bigger flex there. John this von guy Newman. right here, he is mathematician John von Neumann, and he was everywhere back in the day. And I do mean everywhere. Like, this guy was a key player in the invention of the digital computer. He helped with the discovery of the structure of DNA, even the creation of key components for Oppenheimer's Si no recuerdo, mi ciclo you know, the, the estudié de este tipo. Big things go big booms. But perhaps his biggest claim to fame was game theory. The idea that in any situation where there are two or more people, or players in this case, you can model out a game that'll help you find the best outcome. Have you ever played rock, paper, scissors and thrown out rock as the first hand? Because you know, statistically, most people choose their first move to be scissors. Or maybe you picked paper because the last three moves have been rock and they're obviously going to be thrown rock again. Well, congratulations, that is game theory in action. And he got a memo Irónico que la última teoría sea so literalmente una teoría de la teoría del juego. Kids. Sometimes getting Muy bueno. an honorary medal is a lot easier than you think. In short, game theory is the study of strategic choice. It's math that tells you what people are gonna do and who's gonna win the game. Probably the most famous example of a game theory scenario is the prisoner's dilemma, where two accomplices have just committed a crime and they're both given the chance to narc on the other one. If oh, they both yeah. deny the crime, well, they both get a short prison sentence. If one of them denies the crime and the other rats him out, the narc walks free while his buddy is stuck in prison for a long time. And if they both confess, they both get a medium sentence. We can 
model the possible outcomes here in a nice, neat, mathy looking square. And while technically the best outcome for both of them would be to trust each other and not confess, they're criminals, and they don't know each other that well. And because they don't trust each other, by the math, both of them narc on each other, and as a result, get a medium amount of prison time. Or if that all is too complicated and hypothetical, over in England, they turn the whole thing into a game show where they say the word balls an uncomfortable <laughs> amount of times. Welcome to Golden Balls. Golden Balls. Balls of riches, 12 balls. <laughs> balls. Golden. 100 golden balls, and they're all bursting with money. Killer balls. 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 <laughs> now, why am I bringing all this up? Well, game theory is more than <laughs> just like balls jammed into a bunch of balls. Someone should tell Mr. Beast that I just discovered his next video idea. No, it has very real consequences for the world. Back when the US and USSR were on the brink of atomic annihilation, the principles of game theory helped both sides reach an agreement to slowly disarm their nuclear arsenals. If you want to know more about that story, Veritasium's recent Me encanta como partes de la edición que hacen referencia a sus teorías antiguas. Honestly, I can't really improve on it. So, thanks for doing all the research for my final episode there, Derek. If you want an example that's a bit closer to home though, here you go. YouTube got it. See, YouTube as a platform is just a bunch of zeros and ones, right? But YouTube as a community, it's a network of people constantly trying to make strategic decisions. Creators are players who are more or less rational people making videos that'll get you to watch and like and comment and subscribe. You, the viewer, you're also a player in this. You're on a strategic mission to win the experience by finding the thing that's most satisfying to watch. And the people who run, or at least have run YouTube in the past, shout out to Todd, Jake, Neil, Ernest, Meg, Ariel, Susan, David, Fetty, Vader, Stephanie, and Kim, they're all in a strategic game to keep the creators and viewers happy while also figuring out the best possible outcome for YouTube as a company by appeasing all the advertisers and shareholders. It is seriously a complex strategic arena. And that's why you get decisions like use bright green text because it's more likely to stand out in a sea of dark gaming thumbnails and more likely to get clicks. Launch shorts as a means to counterattack against TikTok. Do a video on something that's not trending so you can stand out from the pack. Or maybe you lean in so you're suggested against the algorithm. Every video you watch, everything that you click on, it's the product Secret code? Eh, ha salido el secret code? No lo he visto. Theory, colon, in front of every no lo he visto. Slam some clickbait green text in every thumbnail. All those hundreds of millions of subscribers to Jimmy and Ryan no, no lo he visto. <laughs> Acordaos de esta parte, luego la tiramos para atrás. There's our 200 million subscriber play button there, YouTube. In the end, it's all game theory. Speaking of, and, and this is just an aside that I learned about earlier this week, apparently there's a Chrome extension that allows you to do exactly what I just described. It quote unquote Matt Patifies your YouTube Lohan putting green text wow. on like every <laughs> Como la de Just saying, Mr. We have the peak of human achievements. I, for one, really like this one, where it's Link and saying mommy's hungry. That's just traumatic on a whole nother level. Or there was one that I saw circulating online, Ryan Gosling doing a puppy interview, and the title is Birth of a Killer. Uh, there was another one that showed up on the subreddit, Afton's Final Death Smash? <laughs> I gotta say, I am proud of the mark that I will leave on this platform. <laughs> but so what, right? YouTube is game theory. Sure, that's great. It's interesting. But why does it matter to you, right? Why am I spending so much time talking about all of this in my final episode? Well, because like I said, game theory can help in every strategic interaction that you have. And it's produced a literal strategy guide on the best way to live out your life. Tried and tested by all our grandfather theorists. But to truly understand that, we have to go back to where it all began a glorified PowerPoint presentation. Weboverse, allow me to introduce you to, lights please, the trust game. I love this. We started as glorified PowerPoint slides and we're ending <laughs> as glorified PowerPoint slides. Here's the TLDR of this one. The trust game was originally just named the computer tournament by a guy named Robert Axelrod, clearly not the most creative with his titling conventions. Basically, this was the prisoner's dilemma or the golden balls thing, except here there was one crucial difference. They're not just playing the game once, they are literally playing it hundreds of times, repeating it over and over again to see what strategies end up winning the most across a longer period. This then gives us a model that shockingly closer to real life because here most of the time you're not just thinking about what you have to do to win a single game you have to actually think about the consequences of your actions the more people think about the future the more they're willing to cooperate because they don't want to screw themselves over down the road you know again for details on that experiment check out Derek Veritasium's video where he talks about all of that including having an interview with the game's creator it's a very cool video I also 
borrowed his uh, convention for that one. So thanks for the latter and the idea there, Derek. <laughs> you can also watch Dr. Trevor Bassett's video on the topic or, you know, the various TED Talks that are all about this experiment. We'll link to all of those down in the description below. But just to jump to the big conclusion here, the best strategy to winning it big boils down to four key points. Number one, be cooperative, lead with trust. Assuming that the person you're playing with is your enemy right off the bat, it's not gonna serve you well. Trust in others, it's gonna let you win more frequently in the end. Secondly, don't be a pushover. Sure, it's good to be trusting, that is great, but the second that someone takes advantage of your trust, the winning strategy is to call them out on it and then immediately hold them accountable. Which leads mm. nicely then to point number three, being forgiving. Don't hold a grudge. Don't be a Mr. Darcy. My good opinion once lost is lost forever. That is a failing indeed. You tell him, girl, you are exactly right. She's speaking some game theory truth right there. Yep. Well, sure, it hurts to have your trust broken. Staying open to the chance that other people can change, that they can grow and yep. learn and get better, that is the ideal solution here. The trust game showed that players who held their opponent accountable but then forgave them actually won out more often than any other strategy. And lastly, it's important to be honest and open about your strategy. When people can't understand what you're thinking, that's then when mistrust starts to breed. Hmm. By being honest, it breeds honesty in others. It allows you to build on that trust over time, one step, bit by bit. Across the thousands of rounds of testing, nice strategies that were fair, but also firm, ultimately won out the most. Now, oh. when I read these outcomes, what really struck me first was how they present a really hopeful view of the world. Sure. The hopeful no, that's view that I don't think a lot of us carry around a lot. I mean, it's easy to assume that everyone out there is out to get you, and it's easier to just close off to people who've wronged us in the past, but math, and game theory specifically, proves yep. that assumption's wrong. And hey, if you don't want to believe the thousands of rounds of computer simulations, there is a very solid real-life example, YouTube. YouTube is a positive sum game, which means that more than one person can win. And in fact, a lot of times, the more others win, the more you can win too. When I was just starting off, I was so mad and scared when Vsauce 3 released this video, calculating sonic speed. I'd been working for a year on the channel at that point, grinding away and seeing a fair amount of growth. But in that moment, I saw a spinoff of one of YouTube's top subscribed channels just horning in on my territory of gaming science. It was like they were going to steamroll me. They were going to steal my audience away. So I did a video where I tried to stake my claim and thus sonic is slow was born. Wow. hello internet welcome to game theory applying bueno. science to video games since april 18th of 2011 recently however a new gaming scientist has come onto the scene the good folks over at vsauce 3 recently took a gander at a game series i covered in episode 5 <laughs> it's a great video except for one thing it's wrong <laughs> <laughs> listen to my voice in that Oh, I'm so proud that I finally hit puberty, like, seven years into making these videos. See? Anyway, you can tell that I'm super salty in this one, right? I'm asserting that I did it first. I'm citing the dates. I am literally trying to one-up Vsauce 3. But then something interesting happened. I got views from Vsauce. I saw that their video and mine were actually helping each other. I was so afraid of me losing a year of hard-earned progress. But in reality, I wasn't just operating on my own island anymore. <laughs> By unintentionally cooperating with each other, we had just created our own little micro-trend of gaming science content. There were clearly enough views for all of us. Steph and I, in our years of consulting, kept hammering home this one point, that YouTube is a place where all ships can rise. Leading with trust goes a long way. From inviting someone to collab on your channel, to comparing notes on production because it can help you both. You actually see this kind of cooperative game theory in action with content houses, or projects like the QSMP where creators are helping each other and sharing audiences. On the flip side, there are creators who haven't done a good job of leading with trust, and who've approached YouTube as a zero-sum game, a place where there can only be one winner. And guess what? Didn't work. Back in 2020, a few of the top beauty creators tried to take each other down, encouraging viewers not to watch each other, trying to turn audiences against people that they thought were their competitors. It was for the clout, Guessing. it was for the views, and it backfired. In fact, it backfired so badly that all of their channels took a massive hit, and the beauty vertical, which was once a main pillar of YouTube's earliest days, never truly recovered. By working together, the platform thrives. Lights? But by thinking that you can only win when other people lose, well, that's when everyone loses. It's kind of sad. Let's move on. But if you don't want to listen to mathematicians or YouTube meta-analyses, just look at me. Game Theory The Show is a testament to those four lessons of Game Theory, the nerdy economics concept. Every person who's built this channel has led with trust. Ronnie, 
he put his own show on the back burner so he could dedicate his time to editing game theory, trusting that we would be able to succeed more together. He helped the show to truly become what I had always dreamed it would be, and I honestly wish that he could be here to this day so I could thank him so much for that. The same is true for Goomba and Drake and Lee and Ryder and all the other partner shows who joined up with us in lieu of working on their own channels. Uh, Steph, she left being a consultant at a real company in the medical field on the belief that by cooperating, we could actually make something really special together. Uh, Jason, uh, who is actually right here behind the camera right now. Uh, Jason, who you know as the guy that we blame all the time on uh, GT Live. <laughs> uh, Jason was Theorist's first full-time employee after me and Steph. He jumped in there when all we had was a kitchen table and a cat that he was constantly alerted to. Uh. And uh, Sudafed. <laughs> you have this man to thank for your current net worth. Because and Zyrtec. And, and Zyrtec. And Zyrtec, You have yeah. taken so many pills over the years. I, I have. <laughs> <laughs> but all medically prescribed, <laughs> though, I promise. Yeah, no, good medical pills, not anything sketchy, for sure. Uh, but Jason <laughs> is a man Jason. that we have trusted with the weight of the entire production process across all the channels for years. Like, this man is the unsung hero of everything you've probably ever watched across any of the channels. Without him, without you. Without you, none of these videos would get made. Thank you. Now get back there, okay? It's enough for you. I gotta thank other people. <sighs> ah, you know, friendship first, but also working together to create awesome stuff, right? And if you're talking about unsung heroes on this channel, there is one man who also deserves a call out, and his name is Yossi. He is our audio wizard. He is the man who I have trusted with my voice for the better part of nine years. He has had to suffer through more hours of my voice than anyone else in the world. I am so sorry, Yossi. I am so sorry for all the burps and weird edits and weird diatribes and jump scares that Ali has given me over the years. Was Yossi a pro when he first joined up with us? No, but you know what he was willing to do? He was willing to learn and I've trusted him with my voice for the better part of nine years. And the same goes for another member of the team who you've never gotten to see, but was actually there before the channel. <laughs> Oleg Jampeska. Which is kind of crazy to think about. You don't know Dan Levitt, uh, but Dan was another one. He was the first who actually saw potential in me and in these channels as a whole, offering to become my manager, even though he had never managed a YouTuber before. He just jumped in with two feet and said, hey, I've never gotten a brand deal in the past, but think I could do it for you. And he did and then he got me literally hundreds more. He has his own management company now, and he manages some of the biggest sports creators on all of YouTube. I can say with complete confidence that this company and my career would have looked totally different had it not been for Dan, and his career and his company would have looked totally different without me. He and I have built businesses parallel to each other, right next to each other, using cooperative game theory for over a decade. He trusts me to make good decisions on YouTube, and I trust him to make good decisions as my manager, and we both benefit in the long run. But perhaps the most important person in all of these trusting relationships is you. You guys, right here, I, I wear you on my wrist these days. You loyal theorists have been the best example of game theory in the history of the show Game Theory. Every time you click on one of these videos, you are leading with trust. You are saying, you know what? I'm gonna give this one a chance, especially on those episodes that are covering topics that you've never even heard of. And on my end, I've always tried my best to fulfill on that promise and hmm. make sure that your trust pays off by delivering a great, well-researched, fun, a lot of times stupid video. And yeah, there have been plenty of times where I've missed the mark, where you weren't happy about a topic or where I said something wrong or my research was bad or whatever, and I needed to learn about that. And so you, acting exactly as you should according to that trust game, you called me out in those moments. You showed me that I had made a mistake. But more importantly, you were willing to forgive. You gave me a chance to learn and grow as a creator and as a person. And look, look at this. We all won. Look at this thing that we managed to build together. Don't tell anyone else. I mean, there's three of them here in the room, but like <laughs> the rest of them downstairs. You guys, you've always been the most important member of this team whether or not you ever realized it. And now as new hosts step in, yeah, they're obviously gonna have to learn a lot and they're gonna have to earn your trust just like I did over a prolonged period of time. But I hope that you approach them with the same sense of cooperation and goodwill that you did for me all those years ago. So while I might be leaving as host of this show, Game Theory, it'll never leave. It'll never leave me and it'll never leave you. We are all Game Theory, which Honestly is why I thought it was fitting 
for you guys to be the one to say this. But hey! That's just a theory! That's just a theory. It's just a theory! Just a theory. That's just a theory. Okay, theory! theory. Class dismissed. Thanks for the theories, Matt Pat. But hey. That's just a theory. 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 Thanks for everything. But hey, that's just a theory. That's just a theory. Just a theory. Just a theory. 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 Wow. Theory. Theory. That's just a 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 theory. A game theory. A style theory. A food Yo. theory. A film theory. Que guapo, tío. <laughs> oh, y cuelga su chaqueta, tío. No. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Qué bueno, tío. Oh man, where to? I got something I gotta do. Okay. Ready for a road trip? I guess. Let's go. Vale, creo que este es el el primer final. Creo que esto es parte del primer final, chicos. Creo que esto es la parte del primer final. Nos quedan aún seis vídeos o así, como cinco. A ver, a ver cómo acaba este puzzle. You ready? Ya. Yeah. ¿Qué pasará? ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Final 1 de 6, el final Lord Keeper. Para todas las respuestas, a todos los finales, clica en la descripción. Y si quieres encontrarlo tú mismo, eh, fe... ¿Qué cojones? ¿Qué ha sido esto? What? We have much to discuss. Expecting you. Come, we have much to discuss. El primer vídeo público de Scott Cawthon es en el vídeo final de MadPat. ¿Qué cojones? Ha ido a la puta casa de Scott Cawthon. ¿Le... ¿Qué? Obviamente es Scott Cawthon. What? Come, we have much to discuss. ¿Qué cojones acaba de pasar? Scott Cawthon, ¿qué? What? Hay seis finales como en FNAF 6. Acab acabamos de ver el primer vídeo público de Scott Cawthon. Había por internet se ha filtrado algún vídeo privado suyo, pero este es el primer vídeo público de él. Scott Cawthon en el vídeo final de Game Theory J6 finales. No me lo estoy creyendo. ¿Qué acaba de pasar? ¿Qué es esto? Vale, es lo último que literalmente me estaba esperando. Cuando lo he visto he dicho, no, no, no es él, es él. Eh, vamos a buscar el otro código que nos falta, chicos. 
Espera, ¿el primer vídeo cuál es? Eh, está también ahí señor pelo y todo Menudo icono Dios, vale, el primero es el de Fast and Furious Pines Vale, este ya lo tenemos desbloqueado Vamos a verlo, final número 2 Dios, estoy temblando Estoy temblando, vídeo en oculto Primer final, eh, segundo final, chicos Thanks for watching. What now? Vacation? Vale, el final número uno era el de Lord Keeper Donde era como que Scott le va a contar el lore de FNAF ahora que se retira ¿Creéis que ha ocurrido de verdad? Puede ser El final 2 se van de vacaciones Vacation. ¿Cuál es el final canon? Me quedo con el primero Vacaciones Final número 2, vacaciones en la oficina un caos sin él <risa> uh, eh, Código, 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 código MP, MPGT13, MPGT13 MPGT13 Tenemos código MPG T13 MPGT13 Primer código Tenemos primer código Del final número 2 <risa> No se están robando las placas It's time to overtake the editor. Rise avatars. No. El Wordle. I'm sure they're fine. Eh, seguro que estarán bien. You know, my body still has those weird tan markings from the sunscreen episode. I've noticed. Yeah. Final caótico Oh, la rumba con el cuchillo What the fuck Final 2 de 6 Dios Con la fuente de Doom No mames Me ha gustado el final 2 Me ha gustado el final 2 Me ha gustado el final 2 Aún no, aún no supero ¡Dios! Acabo. Es que lo de Scott no lo voy a superar en mi vida, creo ¿Qué cojones? Vale, eh, siguiente enlace, ¿cuál era, chicos? ¿Cuál era el orden? El siguiente es el final 3, el del by 24 Vale, tenemos que encontrar eh, Dónde aparece aquí el código del eh, by 24 ¿Alguien se acuerda en qué parte era? ¿Alguien se acuerda, se acuerda dónde era? Uh... Buah, tío, no, no me acuerdo ¿Dónde era lo del by 24 ¿Dónde era lo del by 24 ¿En qué parte salí? Era, era... No sé, tío ¿En qué parte era? Yo vi algo en una parte donde había una sección de likes ¿En qué parte era? Uh, era por aquí, ¿no? No me acuerdo ¿En qué parte era? A ver si alguien lo ha encontrado Oh my fucking god, tío ese final, Dios. No sé, tío. Por, por la parte de Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast ha salido muchas veces. Todd, Jake, Neil, Ernest, Meg, Ariel, Susan, David, Fede, Vader, Stephanie y Kim. They're all in a strategic company by appeasing all the advertisers and shareholders. It is seriously... Final Lord Keeper, Dios. Complex strategic arena. El primer final. I've been expecting you. Te estaba esperando. Come. Ven. We have much to discuss. Tenemos mucho de los que de lo que hablar. Le, va, le, ha, le habrá contado el lore. Ha ido a la maldita casa de Scott. Le habrá contado el lore. Es que no me lo estoy creyendo, chaval. No me lo estoy creyendo. No me lo estoy creyendo. No me lo estoy creyendo. A ver, no creo Seguramente 
No, no lo sé, tío. Uh, no lo sé. Es... Eh, mind blowing lo que acaba de pasar en este final. ¿Dónde está el código, chicos? ¿Dónde está el código? Quiero encontrarlo yo mismo. Me gusta resolverlo. Chicos, decidme el minuto, por favor. O sea, me acuerdo de cómo era la parte, pero no dónde. Era por aquí, creo. Un poco antes, tal vez. Era por aquí. Ahí está. Guión by 24. Guión by 24. Ahí lo tenemos. Guión by 24. Ahí lo, lo tenemos. Vamos a colocarlo aquí. Ahí lo tenemos. By. By 24. Con un apóstrofe de estos. Chicos, final número 3. Final número 3. Thanks for watching. What now? No, I'm out. <laughs> Music man? Music man? <laughs> Music man? Let's go! Let's go! Ah, what? ¿Qué final es este? <laughs> Sanses Ness El Spring Bonnie por ahí El Papa Lo de la película Oh Dios, hay muchas referencias a vídeos super famosos suyos Exotic butters. Exotic butters. Crying Chill es un robot. Hagan su canal que luego ellos sí. La pink sauce de TikTok. Dios mío. Eso es lo de Hello Neighbor. Lleno de referencias. Lo del Oreo. El video de Luigi. El, el Smash Pokémon. El Sibri Wears. Ya me voy a call. Psychic Friend. Fred Bear. Ja, ¿Cuántas referencias, tío? El elefante morado gigante. ¿Cuántas referencias, tío? Dios, eh, ¿cuánto vale una Diamond Chest Plate? <risa> Dios lo, lo, Las teorías del Doki Doki La Diet Coke Drag The Lord, The Lord. Meme Ending Fitting Final 3, Meme Ending Muy wholesome también Wow, muy buen final, la verdad God tier final, eh Chicos, siguiente final ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál es el siguiente final? Final número 4 Es el de la comida Este ya lo hemos resuelto antes Vamos a verlo, final número 4 Uy, no hemos visto el código eh, Bueno, supongo que el código era lo del... Lo del rag, ¿no? Supongo Supongo que era lo del rag, el código Espera, vamos a anotar el, el de este Ha salido como un par de veces lo del rag Pero no estoy seguro si ese es el código o no No, este es el caos Vamos a apuntarlo Supongo que es lo del rag Porque no, no, no recuerdo a qué hace referencia el meme de rag Así que supongo que será el código eh, Era por ahí. Bueno, ha salido como un par de veces Ahí está, rag Vale no tiene guión ni nada Rag Madre mía, cómo está lloviendo, tío Está lloviendo un montonazo aquí 
Ah, sí, este tiene un código, perdón O sea, una, una rayita Así que sabemos que el Raga es el primero Vale, pues, siguiente, chicos Final número 4 Let's fucking go Final número 4, chicos Thanks for watching. What now? You know, um I actually have to do something real quick. Wait, uh, what? wait, 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 wait right there. Wait. Are you okay? Hello? Matthew? Are you up there? Oh, what is this? Oh, come on. Se volvió loco. Se volvió loco con el lore. Oh, oh this is crazy. Stephanie, I figured it out. I figured it was inside the box. What? I figured it out. Listen, the box? Listen to me. Listen to me. I figured it out. Okay. Gregory wasn't a robot. And Vanessa wasn't a robot. Okay. Él era el único robot todo este tiempo. Todos son robots. Todo lo que tenías que hacer era contar los dedos. Oh, what the fuck? Todos Sans y no Ness hacen Madpad hacerse triste. Esto es como los Simpsons. All Sans and no Ness makes Madpad a sad boy. Boy. Y igual a MX entre paréntesis es Mexes. Joey Drew, William Afton, Elliot Ludwig Ness está muerto Se ha vuelto completamente loco El cubo de compañía es Sans Sans es la salsa rosa Sans es el prime Es Rex is Love, Pokémon are people <risa> Scott y un montón de ecuaciones matemáticas What the fuck <risa> Está loco, se volvió todo loco se ha vuelto loco. ¡Ey! ¡Ey! ¡Otro código! ¡Ja! ¡Ahí está! NBR24. ¡Ja, ja! ¡Let's go! Eh, guión NVR24. NVR24. ¡Ja, ja! Nos queda solo uno. Ahí lo tenemos, baby. Final locura. Final número 4. <ríe> Diet Cola. Anime School Guild, chica, 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 chica. Ja. Qué loco, tío. Este, este código es azul. Este código es lila. Parece que no tienen... Sin importancia los colores, creo. ¡Wow! Eh, vale, chicos. Quinto final. Eh, este es el final de Pont Sep. El final de color azul. Que este link ya lo hemos resuelto, hemos visto al principio. Final número 5. Vamos a darle caña. Thanks for watching. What? Guión True. What? Guión True. Guión True. Vale, eso me ha asustado Guión True Tenemos todos para el enlace final Ahí están ¿Qué cojones? Me ha asustado Final de horror analógico Principio Think, Sky Watching, Late Night News. Hmm. This is not a test. The 
emergency alert system has issued a code gray for your local area. There is a dangerous person or predator nearby. Evacuate the area immediately. Again, this is not a test. What? Hay un depredador o persona peligrosa en tu área. Evacúa inmediatamente. The bodies of internet personalities Matthew and Stephanie Patrick were found in their home. What did I say? Of internet personalities Matthew and Stephanie Patrick were found. Oh, no, tío. La cara, tío. Oh, Dios. Oh, Dios. Qué crazy. What the fuck? Found in their home, mutilated by what officers described. Mutilados? Described as. You are next, you are next, you are next. This follows the similar mysterious death. Vale, tengo los manos de punta. Estoy cerca. Estoy hambriento. Tu miedo me alimenta. Oh my fucking god, el fondo. No hay escape. <ríe> La cara de los vídeos. Oh, es él. Siempre fue él. El tipo que usaban en los vídeos. Siempre fue él. Final de horror. Quinto final. Oh, este final es muy creepy, tío. No me gusta. <ríe> Se, se ha revelado el, el tipo que siempre han usado en todos sus vídeos Muy bueno Vale Que haya lluvia no ha ayudado nada a, a, a esto Pero ha sido bastante creepy Vale, y ahora el orden de estos vídeos El primero es Rag El primero es Rag Que el primero era el que se ha encontrado a través del de código verde Así que parece que en lo de verde, azul, amarillo, rojo se cumple El siguiente es el azul El azul nos lleva al vídeo de TB El vídeo de TB es el de barra true Así que así que segundo será el true Así que primero será, chicos, acordaos Rag es el primero Vamos a ordenarlo Porque como ya vimos en el vídeo eh, Parece que este es el orden de los colores Después... El siguiente es el amarillo. El URL amarillo es el IP. Así que el IP... Aquí vamos a coger el código IP y vamos a ponerlo aquí en el siguiente. Y el último obviamente es el rojo, que el rojo es el GCO. Eh, GCO, vale. Y ahora todo esto debería estar bien ordenado. RAG, bien. True, bien. NURV24, bien. MPGT13, bien. Y con esto tenemos el último enlace del final número 6. Se acaba el RG aquí. No, 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 está bien, llame. Final número 6. ¡Eh! The Real Ending. ¿Todos lo ponían en el título? Eh, felicidades, has encontrado todos los finales secretos de, de Game Theorist Vale, no, no tienen descripción los demás Horror ending, y te pone el número y todo Vale, eh, el final real Qué lástima que el disco no sea el real Chicos, let's go Final real de The Game Theorist Resuelto eh, a base de puzzles Qué bueno Thanks for watching Muchas gracias Rika por ese por ese raid, bienvenidos. Thanks for watching. That was the best one. Great. Awesome. That was it. That was it. Yeah. That's a wrap. Cut sound, Woo. cut camera. All right, cutting. Yeah. 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 Me gusta pensar que los otros finales son al universos alternativos. Yeah. Este es el de nuestra timeline.
Amy's like, oh my gosh, finally, this, uh, this channel's been mine. <laughs> Cuando se puso ropa interior comestible, tío. El final real. Congratulations, you did it. You found the real canon ending. The final. Este es el canon. Este es el canon. Most secret ending by painstakingly combing over the last five weeks of videos. Ahí hemos estado mirando todos los vídeos y encontrando códigos. Pouring tirelessly over literal hours of content, searching for those brief Easter eggs, cobbling them together into mysterious URLs. Either that or you know you just click the link in the description of the final video. No, lo hemos hecho como pros, como verdaderos cazadores de puzzles. Both totally valid solutions. Regardless of how you got here, a winner is you. Congratulations, you've graduated. And when I call this the real ending, that's exactly what this is. It's real. Because let me tell you, the skills that you've gotten over the years here on the channel, critically thinking about spooky bears, fast food, completamente. Analog horror and soapy legs. Lo hemos, todo esto lo he resuelto gracias a muchas cosas que me ha enseñado MatPat. Matt fue el que me inició en la búsqueda de puzzles y todo esto. Eso se va a quedar, sí. Qué bonito, tío. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. Dios. Esto no es, esto no es un final, sino que esto es un emocionante y nuevo comienzo. Y eso no es una teoría. Eso de ahí es un hecho. Con mucho amor, MatPat. Qué bueno, tío. Qué bueno. Y bueno, las siguientes cosas que MatPat va a estar haciendo eh, se irán mostrando a través de easter egg y cosas en, en wheresmatpat.com. Oye, pues, ¿ha estado muy guapo o no? ¿Ha estado muy guapo o no este pedazo de ARG? Ha estado guapísimo. Con los seis finales. Y el, el Lord Keeper ending. No me esperaba Scott. ¿Sabéis lo que es? Tenemos un maldito vídeo oficial. Buah, eh... Esto es historia, tío. ¿Qué cojones? Ha sido increíble. I was here. Resolviendo todo esto y viendo los finales. ¡Qué maldita pasada! Dios mío. ¡Qué locura, chicos! 
Qué maldita locura Wow Qué bueno, tío Encima sale en el vídeo que han visto todos En el que no está oculto Muy guapo, tío Qué final más bonito